Thanks for sticking with us. Joining me live now is Alexa Milakis from downtown Odessa and Kenny Comstock from Crossroads. And they're here to talk about Night of Lights. I'm so excited for this. Welcome to our studio this morning. Well, thank you for thank having you. us. And yeah. I have to say, you both look so warm. Yeah. Too. <laughs> We're trying. <laughs> it's freezing out there. But tell us a little bit more about this event. It took you quite a while to plan. Yeah, it's something that we kind of dreamed up for around 18 months ago. Last year, we had wow. to pull the plug because of the rain. Okay. Uh, this year, we uh, kind of said, let's create a backup plan. And so we involved the Marriott. And the Marriott's been really great to work with. And so the new convention center that opened just last week, mm -hmm. we've had the opportunity to partner with them to both floors, 30,000 square, square feet of indoor space. And so we're really excited about the possibilities tonight. That's yeah. amazing. And it's so, it's such a bummer that last year's plans kind of got rained out, but this year it's an indoor event for most of the festivities, so people won't have to worry about the weather and the cold and things like that. Right. I mean, we learned from last year, and this space wasn't even available last year. Like, it did yeah. just open last week, so we're very lucky to have them in downtown, in the heart of downtown, and working with us. So whether the weather is bad, whether it's cold, whether mm -hmm. it's not, you're still going to be able to go inside and do 40 different game booths, six jumpers, the cakewalk, vendors, a whole bunch of different things inside without even having any concern at all for the weather. I love that. And you have so many activities. So kind of give me a little bit of a background. It looks like we have a map pulled up on the screen for you at home, but there are a lot of different activities, so where is the starting point? <laughs> yeah, so the, really the starting point begins on Grant Avenue. Lots okay. of businesses starting at 5.30 yep. will begin to, to do trick-or-treat for kids. The event actually opens at 6, and as you can see on your screen, there's lots of those roads that have been closed for us around the Marriott, yes. so there'll be carnival rides, there'll be food trucks, inflatables, games for kids, all sorts of stuff, both out Outside. And then when it, as the weather gets colder or maybe you've got smaller kids and you're concerned about the weather to start with, you mm -hmm. can move inside to hang out inside the Marriott and, and ex enjoy all the festivities inside as well. And you did mention that quite a few streets will be blocked off so that these events can take place and people can be safe, but what about parking? Um, where is the best place for people to park and maybe what time do you think they should show up? Well, there is a lot of street parking available in downtown, whether it's mm -hmm. going to be on the blocks of Grant that aren't closed or on Lee, the different numbered streets, yeah. uh, areas like that. But then we're also doing new this year, um, a shuttle service. So you can park at three different locations and be shuttled in to the event. You can park at OHS up at 13th and Dot C. Texas Tech has given us their parking lot for the evening, which is oh, very, very kind of them. That's amazing. At 5th and Bernice. And then at the Jack Rabbit statue, um, you can meet to pick the shuttle up by parking at the ECISD uh, main building, their mm -hmm. annex building, or Austin Elementary, which are all right there. That is incredible. This is so well planned and put together, and I know so many people have to come together to make this happen. But I guess for y'all, what's the most rewarding element to putting on an event like this? Yeah, so I know tonight, at 6.45 when the parking lots are full, there's people all over the place, kids are having a good time. My kids, I've got three kids that'll participate in the event. My mm -hmm. poor wife will be all by herself, we're our three kids, <laughs> oh, right? No. <laughs> but, uh, you know, as, as we get to see people having a good time and, and just have the opportunity for downtown Odessa to partner with our city as a church, to partner with our city, to, to allow our people to serve and others throughout the community to come together and serve in a time where our community needs unity and healing, this is a great opportunity to foster that and, uh, and really just have a great time together as a community in Odessa. Beautifully stated. Thank you so much for both being in our studio this morning and good luck tonight. I know you have so much planning that you still have to do, so we're going to cut you loose, but stay with us because we will have some more news for you after a quick break, plus your Fox 20 forecast. We'll be right back.